So, the Warlord Armquist is heading to a meeting with the other human warmongers. His orders are to unite them against us! No biggie, I'll just take him out. Yes, but that would still leave the others alive. Martyring Armquist will only stiffen their resolve. Oh well, I guess I'll have to do them too. Follow Armquist to that meeting. It seems Majestic is using primitive listening devices they've discreetly placed to spy on Armquist. We're not alone! Quist is getting away from you, and he can only move in two dimensions. Catch up or you're going to lose him. Help! Help! No! What are you doing? Get back in range! You fool! You've lost Armquist, and with him our chance to deliver a death blow to the human military leadership. Ooh, report back to the mothership with your vestigial tail between your legs. Orson Welles was right! No biggie, I'll just take him out. Yes, but that would still leave the others alive. Martyring Armquist will only stiffen their resolve. Oh well, I guess I'll have to do them too. Follow Armquist to that meeting. It seems Majestic is using primitive listening devices they've discreetly placed to spy on Armquist. We're not alone! Here, ah! pussy, pussy, I'm pussy! Out of here! No biggie, I'll just take him out. Yes, but that would still leave the others alive. Martyring Armquist will only stiffen their resolve. Oh well, I guess I'll have to- It seems Majestic is using primitive listening devices they've discreetly placed to spy on Armquist. We're not alone! Bending antenna to hinder Majestic. Crypto, your forethought surprises me. I won't stop you. Just don't let this stunt hold you up. My analysis shows 
is that bending an antenna has the desired effect of interrupting transmission. One would think you'd done this before. You talking to me? It's hurting. Head, brain, like... <laughs> Out of the way! Careless hamsters from space. End of the line, everybody off. Mid Aliens! Help! We're being invaded by Peter Lorre! Whoa! Yes! Yes! As they can no longer spy on Armquist's little... Must be where the warmongers are gathering for the tribal war council. Take the form of a human warmonger and infiltrate Armquist's meeting. Then, use your powers of persuasion to turn the others against him. Go Stop. ahead. Make my day. Little green pissants! Police, out of the way! Beg me to spare you your life. You talking to me? Space invaders! Space invaders! Fifteen rounds with me. Don't ask, don't tell. Works for me. The evidence is overwhelming. 
First, communist spies infiltrated a small country fair in the American heartland and kidnapped the winner of the beauty pageant, violating her corn-fed virtue in God only knows what unspeakable ways. When they were done with her, they destroyed the whole fairground. Civilian casualties were tragically high. Aren't you jumping the gun here, Armquist? That fire might have just been set by rowdy teenagers. I did as much or worse back in my day. Kids will be kids. He's right, General. Kids today may lack discipline, but they're not communists. I think you're making too much of all this. Last, a communist agent used an experimental nuclear explosive device in a direct attempt to assassinate me at Area 42. You know what they say, Armquist. Just because you're paranoid doesn't mean somebody's not out to get you. Ha <laughs> ha Are you kidding me? A nuclear attack on American soil? Those commies are a goddamn menace. Let's go get them! I don't know who the hell you are, General, but you got a big mouth. Son of a... You! How did you do that? Come and get me, you comet piece of crap! Okay, we'll do it your way. Eat hot plasma, monkeys! Freeze. Crypto! Your cover has been blown! You asked for it, you got it! Annihilate the humans! You dirty rats! You're the rats who killed my br- Huh? Your way's not very sportsmanlike. You can run, you little freak, but you can't hide! Who's hiding? Let's get funky. Air Force? They should call it Air Flop. Defeat these pathetic imitators of Huron strangers. And don't forget Armquist! Get ready, you beat eater! You're going down!
on you, comet punk. Finish it. It didn't have to be this way, Armquist. Uh, what do... <coughs> what do you mean? I mean, this ridiculous war. We could have worked together, you and I, to forge a new future, a common future of peace and prosperity for our two peoples. Just put me out of my misery, will you? I'm serious. You... you didn't want to destroy us? Of course not. We were as scared of you as you were of us. Deep in our hearts, I think what we really wanted was to be just like you. Really? Really. I guess, at the end of the day, we really are all just human beings. Psych. Pathetic human. Did you want a saucer upgrade? Or something a little... I've been monitoring the radio. This human wither says the president will appear before his subjects today. This president must be more integral to their social order than I suspected. I have noticed a significant increase in activity in front of the White House. Right on. Just tell me where he is and what he looks like. I... Uh... Uh, uh, the mothership's tracking system is broken. I think he uses those convoys of long black vehicles for transit. You think? I can't exactly pinpoint the president from orbit, Crypto. It's not like he walks around with a big red arrow over his head. I need you to follow those vehicles so we can identify him. Scanning. Oh, look! Their vehicles use hydrocarbon combustion. How quaint. Crypto, try not to breathe.
cylinders and components are both made of carbon compounds. They must have gotten so the Soylent Green know, leather I'm interior. Pricey <laughs> option! No. Yes. Oh god, I don't know. You don't know. The hell's wrong with you? Hey, Parker, cut the man some slack, will you? He's going through a tough time right now. Tough time? What are you talking about? You got chewed out pretty good by the big guy. Silhouette chewed you out. Jeez, well, oh, their electronics are masking all human neuroelectrical signals. Well, so much for biorhythms. We still got the horoscope, though. It's an ambush! Circle the wagons! Throw me a shotgun! Get the women folk inside! Oh, I really what must stop doing? watching human television. <laughs> Screw it. Destroy them all! Going to... <laughs> if I wanted to fall, <laughs> join the frickin' <laughs> Don't make me... <laughs> Nobody ever wants <laughs> I order you to put me down! <laughs> It's all good fun. Somebody it! Put me in the back. I want my brain back. I don't know. It's like. Excellent crypto. to those monkeys. That was pretty smooth. Crypto! The wither creature has just made another broadcast. He says the president will be appearing before his subjects in a short time. Clearly he is a wily adversary, much more so than Armquist. Uh, so you want me to disintegrate him mercilessly into a trillion teeny weeny bits? Roger that, big kahuna. Excellent! You're learning. Thank you. Thank you. You're very kind. It's an honor and a privilege to be here today. I first want to thank the Joint Chiefs of Staff, who have been the rock of inflexible militancy on which my budget proposals have been built. Very smooth! Of course, I wouldn't expect the humans to take this lying down. But hey, you're a big crow now, right? You can take care of yourself. Crypto, the... Dudes in dark have found your saucer. I think they're planning to destroy it this time. I'm no an explosive, but it looks to me like they're laying enough to breach the power cells. That could vaporize the entire city. And them. You have the right to hell. Hurry! They're going to destroy your saucer. Who no, have they no regard for another being's property? Ah! <laughs> 
What am I thinking? I could tell you, but then I'd have to kill you. Bad boy. Bring it on. Ah, my head! My head! My head! Uh -oh. Be careful, you. Watch where you're going! Good work, Crypto! Step right up! Weapons, abilities, saucers, upgrades are us! Now that the president is dead, the human senators are voting for a new leader. The vote is agonizingly close. When the president dies, doesn't the vice president become president? Just shut up and kill those senators before they get inside the Capitol! Spare your life. Aliens! Martians! You want a piece of this cupcake? Yes, they're coming! Anybody ever tell you you oh, getting flashbacks? My back. have ended. Analysis shows they've had a liquid lunch. Don't hesitate! Take them out! Watch it! Space. 
of senators are moving in and load up on ammunition this isn't a democracy unless i say so they're swarming in from everywhere let none cast you eliminate them It's killer time! Damn it! 
This fire is gonna ruin my suit. Permission to Inconclusive. The leaderless humans will have no choice but to surrender to us now! So, what would you like to upgrade, you little... Humans have mass-produced a weapon that threatens our main invasion force! These Tesla coils are cheap, shoddy versions of the ones you met in Area 42. And you, my impulsive friend, are to destroy every Tesla coil unit in town. Interesting. Some are automated, but others require human Mention operators. So what do I do with those? Simple. Each unit must be connected to a nearby control console. Destroy them all! I don't care how. So I'm taking out the Tesla coils and the control consoles. One more. 
your device remains! Hurry and destroy it! Show yourself. Uh, Say your prayers. Uh, hello. Whoever you are. Alien. Well done. A big noisy scene. Just what we needed. Ew. The humans are learning. They hid the other coils' consoles in bunkers. You'll have to use your saucer to destroy them. No! Stop! Attack! You think you can go 15? Coils. Destroy these primitive human defenses, Crypto. To have these Tesla coils are only cheap imitations. Your saucer should be able to hold out against them. Remains. Hurry and destroy it! of all human power, and they're turning over the keys to the whole planet! Our victory is complete! No more blowing stuff up? Oh, the Furon Emperor will be most pleased! Yeah, it's, uh, it's hard to believe. Silhouette will be meeting you there himself. Try not to gloat too much when you accept his surrender. Sure, it's the least we can do. World domination awaits!
silhouette, I presume. You don't look like a general. You don't look like a little green man. Thank you. So, waving the white flag, huh? All the monkeys got together, scratched their heads, accepted the inevitable. That sense of humor. Just like your- Like my what? Uh, file. Your dossier, Crypto, said you were quite the Joker. I think I never told you my name. No, I suppose I have your brother to thank for that. You're a chick? I'm a patriot. If you had to put up with politicians playing grab ass all day long, you'd wear a mask too. Me, I get my kicks the old-fashioned way, beating up bad monkeys. Funny, that's just what Crypto136 said. Of course, he was a real cut-up too. Well, so much for Plan A. What's that? That, my gender-deprived friend, is Plan B. The end of your insidious invasion. A champion even you can't defeat. The greatest political mind of the 20th century in the greatest weapon ever built by man. Behold! The robo -prez. If elected, I promise to destroy all furons! That is seriously messed up. Robo-Prez, dirty tricks mode! Aw oh, man, now I'm gonna get my suit dirty.
getting away! Looks like he's heading for the Coolidge Memorial! Or is that the Rutherford B. Hayes Monument? Oh, I should have held on to that tourist map! Man, I love the smell of...
Look out, or I'll make you look out. I can't believe you actually beat me. They never do. You know, you don't look so hot. Majestic. We'll never give up the struggle to resist you alien freaks. Struggle's over, babe. Furon's won. Human Zipperuni. You think you won? You think America is the only human civilization on Earth? That's what all the Americans seem to think. At least once I scanned. Smug little insect. There are three billion people on this planet. And everywhere there are humans. There is majestic. Sorry, doll face. Without you, Majestic's just a bunch of dudes in crappy black suits. Majestic. MJ. Twelve. The Twelve. All over. All over the world. Attention, humans. I am Cryptosporidium of the planet Furon. This planet is now a territory of the Furon Empire. Resist this.
Good evening, my fellow Americans. In recent days, rumors have run rampant of flying saucers, alien invaders from other worlds, indeed, of my own demise. I'm speaking to you tonight to put these rumors to rest. The truth is, America has been attacked, not by little green men, but red. And our invaders are most definitely of this Earth. Despite the efforts of this administration, our nation has been infiltrated by communists, godless deviants who hate us for our freedom-loving way of life. Their conspiracy, details of which are only now coming to light, included drugging our water supplies and controlling our media via mind control. The result was mass hysteria, a national delusion which provided them the cover they needed to execute their fearful scheme. But your military and intelligence agencies fought back, and I'm proud to report that once again, America has emerged victorious. However, the price is dear. At this moment, millions of Americans are working hard and playing by the rules, unaware of the lingering toxic pollutants in their minds. To combat this lingering menace, we have set up testing centers across the nation, at shopping malls, local schools, even churches. The test is simple and painless. Why, our family had it just this morning, and I'm back at work. Doris is in the kitchen baking brownies, and little Billy's out playing tag in the rose garden right now. It's completely safe. So, trust your government. Trust your president. Freedom is on the march, my friends. Good night, and God bless America. Step inside, citizen. You sure this thing is safe? Step inside, citizen. Jeez Louise, I don't know. Hey, buddy, you heard the president. If it's good enough for him, it's good enough for us. Yeah! Yeah! Yeah. Well, I guess a test couldn't hurt. Like shooting monkeys in a barrel. And so, the world breathes a sigh of relief. The threat of alien invasion proved a false alarm. As for those who scan the skies for a real visit from outer space, they may be in for a very long wait. Perhaps the lesson is that we should turn our gaze inward remembering that man's worst enemy is often himself. Did you want a saucer upgrade? Or something a little more personal? Mm.